In this video, we'll be creating a jet boat. I've had this small boat for a while, but wasn't happy with its performance. So I decided to design a jet drive for it. Unfortunately, I was having problems with the GoPro, so some of the time lapses got cut off. So the last thing you saw was some of the pieces being printed, and now the whole boat's together. I apologize for not getting a lot of that on camera. I just knew it was going to be a whole lot of trial and error, and didn't want this video to end up an hour long. I ended up going through four iterations of the jet drive. This is just two of the other ones here. When I finally got the jet drive right, I glued it into the bottom of the boat using windshield sealant. I cut the hole in the bottom for the input and tried to sand it as smooth as possible. The steering nozzle here works excellent so far. Works excellent so far. So I was too excited to test this thing and didn't get any footage of it in the pool but I had a lot of problems with water getting into the boat and it was sinking. So even though I didn't get any footage of the boat going together, you'll now see it come apart. I'll try to seal the edges around the jet drive better. I'm gonna go out and silicone all the edges around the jet drive itself. Hopefully that'll stop all of the leaking. I'll be back after that silicone dries to put the rest of the boat back together. So the water ended up leaking into the stock electronics box. So I decided to go in and model my own. So here's the electronics box you just saw print. The reason the electronics aren't in it right now is because as you can see, it doesn't fit. I took a few measurements and forgot about the depth and it's too long. So I redesigned the box, shortened it up. I put all the electronics in it and sealed it with some more of the windshield sealant. No water should be getting into this. I'll go ahead and install this now and put everything else back in. that was a pretty big fail. I don't know if you could see it in the video but the water is coming out of the nozzle and hitting the walls of the steering nozzle and coming back up towards the boat instead of coming straight out. I think I have a solution for that. Unfortunately, my GoPro died during that time lapse, but here's the two pieces finished printing. What I did was extended the nozzle itself and also extended the steering nozzle so that when they're in place, the only place the water can go is straight out the back. It shouldn't be able to go around the side of the steering nozzle anymore. Here's the difference between the old nozzle and the new nozzle, and also the two steering nozzles. You can see they're a lot taller.
I now have the new nozzle and new steering nozzle on and adjusted the endpoints, so I'm ready to go test. Well, I'm just as disappointed or even more disappointed than some of you are. I know that wasn't much running footage, but it just wasn't running right. Looked like it had a good jet stream, but it wasn't going anywhere. I'm still getting water in the inside. I'm pretty sure that's because the steering link comes out of the boat underneath the water. I'm thinking about moving that up here somewhere and trying that out and seeing what I get there. Other than that, I was happy it actually worked the little bit that it did. This is something completely new to me that I just decided to try, so I was pretty excited to see it actually work. I'm going to do some more research and see what I can figure out and hopefully be back with a part two on this when it actually works. I'm open to any ideas, so if anyone has any clue of what could be my problem here, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, hopefully I'll have a part two soon. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see part two. Thanks for watching.